This video and channel is sponsored by Ratchet Clothing. I'll put a link to their website down below in the description. Go check out their different styles and many collections. Today, I'm going to be speaking about a conversation that I had with Joey DiBenedetto. Joey was a dear friend of mine. Aside from us being members of the same family and in the same crew, we were childhood friends. We've known each other since the days of Silver Streaks, which was a disco for kids in Howard Beach. So all you Howard Beach people know what I'm talking about. At that time, Joey and I were just 10 years old. But this story takes place in 2018. At that time, I had packed up and moved to Savannah, Georgia. During the first few days in Savannah, I received a text from Joey's wife. She was asking if it was okay if Joey called me on her phone. And of course, I said yes. So Joey called and we talked for a while about everything that was going on. At one point, he even kidded around that if it wasn't for his wife, he would pack up and join me in Georgia. Joey and I had a true friendship. We got along good and always respected each other. And we've never even had one argument. We spent a lot of time together, but at some point I started staying in Long Island more and more around Patty De La Rosa and his crew. And at one point in the conversation, Patty's name came up. I was telling Joey how Patty showed me his true colors and turned out to be a phony. And Joey said something that I'll never forget. He said, John, why didn't you just come and ask me about Patty? What he said hit me like a ton of bricks. He was right. I didn't know Patty, but Joey's been around long enough to know all about him. I believe Joey was inducted in either 1990 or 91. So he was a 20 or 20 year old kid at the time. Obviously being married to the boss's daughter fast tracked him. Nevertheless, he's been around a long time. I told him, Joey, you're right. I should have came and asked you about Patty first. He said, Patty's always been a snake and I never liked him. Then he said, let me tell you a story. Years ago, Vic made Louis de Don the acting boss. Vic was already away by this time. So Louis sends Patty to see me with a message. Patty gives me the message and then he turned to me and he said, oh, by the way, I don't know if you heard, but there's a new sheriff in town and his name is Louis. As I was listening to Joey tell me the story, I was shaking my head because it's typical Patty. Joey told me, John, believe me, I could have repeated what this asshole said to my father-in-law and he definitely would have had a problem, but I kept it to myself. Let me explain why Patty would have had a problem. First and most importantly, he's speaking to Vic's son-in-law. Not just another friend in the family. This is Vic's personal family. And Patty's not supposed to deliver that message unless he was told to do so. But the biggest mistake that Patty made, and one that he wasn't intelligent enough to understand, is in that life, we never referred to one another as names associated with law enforcement. So while Patty was telling Joey about the new sheriff in town, what he failed to realize was the sheriff he was speaking about had what we call in that life a boss. And his name was Vic Amuso.